2 HP, the smallest company in Eurorack. Hello, this is Lo-Fi. It's an audio degradation emulator in 2 HP. What do we mean by this? Well, Lo-Fi is designed to make things sound old or destroyed. It can do analog tape withering, and it can do digital crunch. Let's learn a bit deeper and go over a rundown of the controls on Lo-Fi. You'll notice on the front panel that there are two words for each knob. The top word tells us what the knob does in analog mode, while the bottom word tells us what the knob does in digital mode. You can switch between the two modes by using the toggle at the bottom of the module. Whichever mode is selected, the knobs and CV inputs will only apply to the chosen mode's effects. Another thing to note, all effects are off when their respective knob is turned fully to the left like right now. We're going to start with analog mode, our tape emulator. If you're following along, make sure your mode toggle is flipped to the left. The first knob from the top in this mode is wow, which controls the amount of wow and flutter applied to the audio input's pitch. As we turn up the knob, the intensity of long fluctuations and staccato-like flutters are applied to our sound. Next up is hiss, which is lo-fi's noise effect. It is a combination of white noise, random amplitude changes, and filtering that give hiss a sense of liveliness. As we turn up the knob, hiss will begin to gradually take over the incoming audio until it is the predominant sound we hear. Last up is pop, which adjusts the amount and prominence of tape pops in the audio. Turning up the knob will introduce subtle pops, and at the upper end of the range it will get more extreme and frequent. And that is analog mode. Now, let's take a look at digital mode our decimation and distortion side of lo-fi by flipping the mode toggle to the right. With the toggle flipped, the top knob is now Crush. Crush controls the bit depth of incoming audio from full resolution of 24-bit external processing, 32-bit internal processing, all the way down to one bit for both. Following Crush, Redux controls the sample rate of the incoming audio. When the knob is fully to the left, the sample rate is 48 kilohertz. As we turn the knob to the right, Lo-Fi begins to downsample the audio, with the far end nearing 500 hertz. The last control in digital mode is distort, which adds a massive distortion to the audio signal. Like the other effects, there is no distortion when the knob is fully to the left. As we turn the knob up, the distortion is introduced and completely takes over the sound on the far end of the knob range. And that is Lo-Fi. We're excited to have this module out in the open. It's been a treat to have in our patches, and we can't wait to hear what you degrade with Lo-Fi. If you didn't know, we also released another module today. Swarm is a hyper oscillator capable of a bunch of awesome sounds. If you want to learn more about Swarm, head to our channel page where you can find its demo video. Until next time, happy patching! 2HP, the smallest company in Eurorack.